Today we're going to be taking a look at the Time Kettle M2 Translator Earbuds. These are earbuds that can translate different languages. So for me, this reminds me a lot of the Star Trek Universal Translator. Uh, I know Google does this um, with Translate, but these supposedly have like chips inside of them that do all the translation for you. And this is definitely a step in that direction. Additionally, the one thing I did notice is that like the, the logo is a little off in the picture. So I'm gonna be curious to see how they look. So yeah, so first off we've got a fish card, which I have no idea what that is. You got instructions, offline language, thick manual in a whole bunch of different languages. And these earbuds are thick. Like, we're talking chonky. Oh, wow. And each earbud gets its own half. Oh, and the magnets go together like that? Wow. Wow. So, each one of these, it's all magnetic. Wow. So, yeah, each half you hand to somebody. And they can translate. Get a USB-C charging cable. I'd say of oh, uh, it's okay quality, but yes, yeah, so a standard USB-C charging. Oh, that's a satisfying click too. But yeah, no, that's what it looks like, and they're not dependent. I mean, how many pairs of earbuds can you say? Oh yes, I'm gonna hand uh, one half to one person and one half to the other. Now, I mean, my only issue is that like you can't independently charge them. Overall design, it's a big cuboid. I mean, like the design, there's nothing fancy with the design on the outside, at least. Once you crack the sucker open, though, it's got magnets everywhere. Uh, actually, kind of impressed by that is how magnetic everything is. You can hold it like that. Actually, that's the most fascinating thing is that it's a very internally, it's a very unique design. I can salute that. So let's get started with uh, trying them out. They look very much like Apple earbuds. So first off, let's try them. Um, you know, I'm not a big fan, especially of the Apple style earbuds, um, just because I feel like they're not, um, they don't sit well in my ears. I don't find them really comfortable. I think like if you're gonna, I mean, they're trying to go for the Apple style. There's nothing wrong with going your own style. Um, these are not gonna be super comfortable and not something I would wear around at the gym. I mean, I know what it's, it looks kind of stupid. Three. So it looks like the WT2 Plus or whatever looks so much nicer than like headphone wise. I mean, it's very nice. Like, like the, the idea of it is just like, they're not that particularly comfortable. First off, do some standard music test. I will say these do sound quite impressive. Like the whole the whole sound stage is very very nice, like nothing sounds cheap. Whole sound stage is actually very impressive. As I said, my only complaint is just like, if you're going to use these specifically as translators, then I'm assuming you're putting them in someone's ear for a while. Uh, I mean, having this kind of design is rather easy to, um, of course, like clean and stuff. I understand that, but for me, it just seems like these are so. As I said, I'm not a big fan of the Apple headphones. If you are, then maybe consider these, but like these do not fit my ear well whatsoever. So now I am speaking in a different language, which is actually kind of cool. So that, that I, I, I gotta argue this, this is done somewhat decently. And it even does uh, handle, of course, slang. So if I were to say something like y'all, um, it catches that. And then when I pause, it starts the translation. Okay, so listen mode lets you speak English and it shows up in some other language. In both ears. So the voice recognition is pretty good. Speaker mode, so that means you hand your earbuds to someone else and someone else speaks. Yeah, so that comes out my headphones. Or my. So I can talk into my headphones and then it translates it into another language. 
Creo que es bastante impresionante que solo pueda hablar. And that is pretty impressive to translate that on the fly. Y eso es bastante impresionante para traducir eso sobre la marcha. So this is also done currently in the offline mode. So this is fully autonomously catching it without any internet or data whatsoever. Esto también se hace actualmente en el modo fuera de línea, por lo que se captura de forma totalmente autónoma sin internet ni datos de ningún tipo. So I think that is pretty dang impressive um, that it can I speak and it translates it accordingly. Creo que es bastante dang impresionante que pueda. Yo hablo y ella lo traduce en consecuencia. Now, um, soundstage is quite impressive. Um, this is, these are actually really nice, at least in terms of sound. Um, I understand that the Apple style stuff may be more widely um, familiar with many different cultures, especially because Apple's just got such a large prevalence. Um, however, I mean, like, I, I really just find them extremely uncomfortable, especially if you were to do this for a long period of time. That being said, though, sound quality is uh, about as you're gonna, good as you're going to get. I think these are like a $300 pair of earbuds, so um, sound quality, I feel like, does live up to that expectation. Everything seems to, it's, it's a definitely a wide, uh, fully covered soundstage. Translation stuff is very interesting. Uh, for me, I think the design is a little bulky. I, I just fi I find that's going to be awfully thick to fit in your pocket. Maybe something thinner, something longer, something a little bit different. I just feel like this is just, it's a lot to fit. It's like one pocket. Like you're using one pocket for this because it's not thin enough that you can put it on top of something else or, and it's not long, like, you know, long enough that you can put it beside something else. So it's really just a one pocket thing, um, which makes it kind of difficult to handle. Also, I feel like the way that this is done, especially with like how uh, you have to have a phone for this, um, I feel like... This is, with all the fancy hardware that you have here, compared to like Google Translate, which is free. Um, you know, you have all the fancy processors in here, which I think what they say that this has got some uh, Qualcomm sound quality, which is great. Uh, I just think that like, versus just using Google Translate to translate it, versus, you know, using these. I mean, this does offer some benefit by each person having an ear and being able to hear things independently. Um, it just, for me, the justification of Google Translate versus this, um, especially with requiring you to have your phone, of course, to make any use of the product, is somewhat frustrating. Yeah, the fact that these are not independent, I guess, is what really, you know, if I understand you have your phone, but like Google Translate, you open the app, and while, yes, you can't have two separate microphones, you can talk into it, hand it to somebody and talk into that. Whereas this, um, I feel like you could have both headphones in, talk in them, and then hand the phone to somebody. But still, when people are hearing something from the phone, that's getting very close to Google Translate, which is free. So, like, I wouldn't, like, for normal people, if you were going on a, you know, one, on a weekend trip to somewhere, uh, somewhere in a different language, uh, I would argue that, like, your phone could be adequate in that situation. I mean, if it's really, and obviously in a lot of places, especially, a lot of people do end up speaking English. Uh, that is, of course, a double standard. You know, everyone should have multiple languages in their, in their vocabulary um, or in their res repertoire. But I, matter of fact, is a lot of places, especially within our popular with tourism, are going to have a lot of people speaking English. Or, I don't know how many people watch... I don't have English, uh, a non-English subtitle, so I would assume not many people listen to this in other languages. Um, but, for example, if you spoke another language and you went to some point like uh, the U.S., well, I mean, we're kind of stupid, so we, we don't really speak many other languages, but some of us do. And uh, that might be... I just feel like this is much more of a niche product. Uh, it's expensive. It's cool. It does a good job. I mean, it's a little uncomfortable to have in your ears, which, as I said, I don't understand why you spend all the money and development and have something that copies Apple's completely horrendous earbud design. It's extremely uncomfortable. I like them a lot. I think if you were going somewhere that you were expected to be, to, like, I don't know, if like a month trip or maybe two months you're going somewhere and, you know, you only spoke, one, you know, English or whatever language you speak and you go to somewhere and, like, you know, not everyone knows how to speak English, then I think I understand this. This is definitely, you'd be using a lot. It's not super convenient talking to your phone, hand it to somebody. It's just convenient. Hand them the phone, let you talk, let them talk. And then, of course, you get, 
and then you have that exchange of conversation. So I want to salute this product though, because it's a very unique product, and this is the first product of that kind that's come through my um, kind of email. So definitely have respect for that. Um, I just it's such a nice like idea on a product and execution, except for the fact that like it's uncomfortable, really uncomfortable. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And of course, check out the channel for other cool tech-related news, reviews, and uh, things like that. Have a great day.